Hello everyone, in this video, I want to talk to you about this country that is super underrated. You know, when it comes to migration, everyone talks about Canada, the UK, the US, you know, but there are other amazing countries. Like, if you really look deep into other countries, you would see that they have amazing benefits for migrants, right? So, I did research about this country because, you know, it's a country that I personally like. So I just had to like dig deeper to find reasons why people should move to this country, right? And I was truly amazed by the information I saw about this particular country. Like it's a top, top destination for expats, for people looking to migrate abroad to study, to work, to live, you know, if you're thinking about the future of your children, your family and all of that. This is one of those countries that you really need to look at. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you the benefits of living in this country, right? I'm going to talk to you about the cities in the country where it's best for expats. And of course, the pathways to this country, how to move down to this country and settle in the country. So I'm going to be giving you all this information that you need so you can make an informed decision while you're deciding which country to migrate to. So if you're just meeting, my name is Jackie and on this channel, I share content to help you migrate abroad, to study, to work and to live. My mission on this channel is to assist to improve your quality of life by opening your minds to opportunities that are available for you abroad. So do subscribe to my channel so you can be seeing videos like this and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any video when I post them. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all the support for always coming back to watch my videos, for your comments, the likes and the shares. I truly appreciate you all. And if you're a YouTuber or you want to start a YouTube channel, I have a channel named Jackie Finance where I share all my tips and strategies to running this YouTube channel and making money from YouTube and other side hustles. So if you're interested in making money online, do check out Jackie Finance, you know, to take advantage of the information I share right there. Okay, so back to the topic for today, right? I want to throw a light on this amazing country. The name of the country is New Zealand. Yes, you may have seen a lot about New Zealand. I've done a lot of videos about New Zealand on my channel. I have a full playlist about, you know, New Zealand. All the videos I've done on New Zealand on my channel are in that playlist. So you can go check it out. So I really think that New Zealand should be on the top of your list while you're planning to migrate, while you're looking for countries to move to. You should really consider New Zealand. And I'm going to be telling you the reasons right now. So let's look at the benefits of living in New Zealand, the benefits of being a resident of New Zealand. And the number one thing is the welcoming people. The people of New Zealand are super friendly to immigrants, super friendly to expats. You know, anyone that wants to migrate to a new country, I'm sure you'd want to meet friendly people to help you settle in, you know, to just help you not miss home that much and just give you a smooth ride into settling in a new country. And New Zealand has friendly people. And when you move down to New Zealand, you know, you're going to be so welcome. And with no time, you're going to be building your new home in this country. So the people are really amazing. You know, there are some countries you go to and, you know, everyone just lets you be. No one wants to talk to you or be friends with you. And you're just navigating the country all by yourself, but not in New Zealand. These people are so welcoming to foreigners and visitors alike, and you'll feel right at home in New Zealand. And the number two reason why I think you should really consider moving to New Zealand is the low cost of living. You know, no matter how much you have, you always want a place where you can have a reduced cost of living, right? Even super rich people are moving to smaller nations where they can, you know, have lower taxes be able to live, have a good quality of life at a reduced rate, right? So I'm sure everyone will appreciate a country that has a lower cost of living. New Zealand has a very high quality of life at a reduced cost. On the average, the housing costs, food, other commodities are really reduced in New Zealand. So you're going to be getting a high quality of life at a reduced cost. So that is one of the reasons you should really consider New Zealand, especially 
in this time when a lot of nations are seeing very high cost of living, you know, because of the recession. So New Zealand offers that high quality of life at a reduced cost. And the number three reason you need to move to this country is the rights they have for immigrants, right? So immigrants are really taken care of, right? So there's no much difference. In fact, there's no difference between a permanent resident and a citizen in New Zealand. They both have the same right. So as a resident of New Zealand, right, you have the liberty to move in and out of the country at any time, you know, as much as you want. And you also have the right to vote. And you also have, you know, access to government subsidized benefits. So the benefits that citizens of New Zealand have, permanent residents also have the same rights. So it's really good for immigrants, you know, to live in a country like New Zealand, in a country that protects their rights as well as the rights of the citizens. And the number four reason you need to consider New Zealand in your relocation plan is the high quality health care like there is access to really top quality health care migrants in new zealand have access to the government subsidized health care so you can visit the hospital with no out of pocket cost i mean the health care is really top notch and so accessible which leads me to the number five reason you need to be a resident of new zealand is the high quality education so for those that have children you know education is top quality in the country new zealand is ranked number 10 in the world for education the education is so good in new zealand and it is accessible as well education is free for the citizens and permanent residents as well so it's a very good country we have good health care good education so you don't need to pay you know so much you know to have access to top quality health care and education so this is just an amazing reason you really need to consider you know moving down to new zealand and the number six reason one of my personal favorites is good food i love good food and you're going to find that in new zealand so they have a culture of eating fresh local food and i mean the food is so amazing in new zealand you just need to be there to see it so if you're a foodie you love to have you know good quality healthy food then new zealand is the place for you the next reason you need to consider new zealand is because they are family friendly like it's a very good country to raise your children as a matter of fact citizens of new zealand you know that migrate abroad when it's time for them to have kids you see them moving back to new zealand you know to raise their family it's a very good family friendly country a place to raise your children you know they have very good schools for children good health care you know everything is just really good to raise children so if you're in the age where you want to raise children and you already have a young family then new zealand will be good for you and the next reason why i love new zealand is because it's multicultural so there's a good chance you're going to be bumping into people from your culture in new zealand like new zealand has a high population of experts a lot of immigrants are in New Zealand. Lots of people from the UK, from Japan, from America, from India, from China, from Africa, like so many immigrants. It's so multicultural. So it just gives you that really good vibe, you know, to live in New Zealand. So these are the reasons. There are so many of them, but I think these ones are like the top reasons, you know, people look out for when they want to migrate to a new country. All right. So let me tell you the cities, you know, to look out for in New Zealand. So if you want to move to New Zealand, what cities, you know, are best for immigrants, are best for experts? And the number one city is Auckland. Auckland is the biggest city in New Zealand, and that is where you find majority of experts. So in Auckland, you'll be enjoying temperate climate. It's a very beautiful city. There are beaches, like beautiful, beautiful scenery, and they love the outdoors in Auckland. So if you're an outdoor kind of person, you would love it in Auckland. You know, they engage in hiking, in sailing, and surfing. You know, they are so outdoorsy. So if you love the great outdoors, then really think about moving to Auckland. And the neighborhoods in Auckland have all the shopping, dining, 
fitness and entertainment needs like everything you need is in every neighborhood right so it's just really cool to live in Oakland as an expert because you have access to all the things that matter the most to you and the number two city to live as an expert is in Wellington Wellington is also highly developed. It's fun, outdoorsy and everything. In Wellington, you'll be getting the same thing you have in Oakland, but at a reduced cost, right? The cost of living in Wellington is less than that of Oakland. And there are a lot of job opportunities in Wellington. You would see migrants getting government jobs. That is the job market is so welcoming for foreigners, right? So in Wellington, you'll be seeing a lot of experts. And the number three city to consider as an expert is Christchurch. This is the largest city in the South. This city has a lot of people from the United Kingdom, from Japan. You know, so many people from those countries reside in Christchurch because it kind of reminds them of London and Tokyo, right? And in this city, there are so many job opportunities for people in tech, people in hospitality, and also jobs in healthcare. Like there are a lot of job opportunities for experts in Christchurch. So this is my top three picks for the cities to consider living in as you want to move down to New Zealand. So let's talk about the visas. What are the pathways, you know, to move down to New Zealand? New Zealand has a lot of visas, you know, available for, you know, foreigners that want to, you know, migrate to New Zealand and settle. There are so many pathways to the country. And I've done videos on quite a number of these pathways. So if you do check the playlist on New Zealand, I'm going to link it up here and in the description box as well. So you can, you know, see all the details about the visas that I've done on my channel. So there are visas for students. There's a study visa. If you want to go study in New Zealand, there's a visa for you. And there are so many work <laughs> visas. You can take advantage of the many work visas that they have in the country. And they also have visas for parents. So if you want to move your parents down to New Zealand, there is a visa for that. They highly encourage you know, parents migrating to New Zealand to join their children. Remember I said New Zealand is very family friendly. So that's proof, you know, that New Zealand is a family friendly country for them to have visas for parents, right? And they also have a visa for people that want to move down to New Zealand to start a business or to invest. So there's a pathway for that. And there's also a pathway for people that want to move down to New Zealand as permanent residence. So there is a visa where you move down as a permanent residence. It's called the straight to residence. I have the video on my channel. You can go see it so you can see all the details. It's for people in particular occupations. So if your occupation is on the green list and on the tier one of the green list, then you're eligible to apply for the straight to residence. So you get a job offer in the, in your occupation and then you apply for permanent residency and move down to the country as a permanent residence. Or if your occupation is not listed, not to worry. There are other pathways. There's one that is called work to residence where you move to New Zealand and after working for a year, you then apply for permanent residency. You know, there are so many pathways. I mean, I'm still going to be doing more videos to talk about more of these visas because there are so many. Right now on my channel, I think I have about four visas, four pathways. I have um, also the one for carers, the care workforce. So if you're in healthcare, you're a healthcare assistant, other kinds of carers, you can check out this pathway to move to New Zealand as a healthcare assistant, you know. There are so many pathways, so just check which of them you qualify for and apply to move down to New Zealand. So let me know what you think about New Zealand in the comment section. If you have questions, if you have other information you'd like to know about New Zealand, let me know in the comments and I will do more videos about this country. So if you like this video, you found it valuable, do give it a like. That is a thumbs up. It helps the channel. It helps others to also see this information. And you can share the video as well to friends and family. Let them know about this amazing country of New Zealand so they can also migrate to the country if they do like it. All right, so thank you so much much for watching my video. I will see you in the next one.